Hello everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish and I'm taking a look here tonight at the market. Why? Uh, we're up. You know, we had a big rally today. I just want to look at here where we're at tonight. Just quickly here. Uh, we're up tonight in the after hours and we look like we're going to get up tomorrow morning. I'd be surprised if we don't. Look, we're rallying right now. So we're over 281 here in the SPY. Nice move up and we will be well through, well through the sell-off by tomorrow. In fact, I mean, Geez, look at this here. So high of the sell-off day was around 286.91, close to 287. So we're at 281 tonight. So we're more than 50% through it. And we had a huge bar today. And I really wasn't sure into the open here, based on the gap itself, where we would go from the morning. And then we dropped. We dropped and fell and broke the low. And then we shook around a little bit. And then finally, at some point in the morning, the market decided to hold. But really, I saw this around lunchtime here. Called the day trade for people if they wanted to do it right into 12 o'clock. And the market broke out, and I saw it as a breakout play, and we just shot up. I mean, the market just took off like a rocket today. It was clear to me around that period between 11 and 12 we were going to break out. So this morning was iffy. Uh, we did end up holding. would have been very aggressive to go long here today into the gate, out of the gate, but we did hold. We did really hold, and I do believe the market's higher, and I've said this before. Now let's just quickly look here at this. Oh, this just looks really higher. It's accused, and wow. I mean, we we will, this is going to continue. Wow, look at that. We're not even that far. Uh, uh, I mean, I definitely think we're going to make new highs before the end of the year. I mean, we could even do it sooner than you think. We could even do it by Thanksgiving, although I don't know for sure. But I definitely think there's a huge possibility we're going to make brand new all-time highs before the end of the year. We, we could even do it. This is, I mean, we could do this so soon. I'm even shocked here now seeing this because I didn't look at this chart. The Dow, the Dow looks like we're, the diamonds, uh, you know, the, the diamonds, which is the DIA, which is the index for the Dow, or the Dow itself, it looks like we're going to make a new high soon. And I still think that the SPY is going to 300 anyways. I, I don't know if that does if that happens this year, but this absolutely just looks like it's just going to go here. This is the diamond. So this is the ETF for the Dow, okay? So we never got up to that number 27,000, but we absolutely look like we're headed straight up there. So it's a very interesting week. Again, I thought all these things, all the good earnings that happened would create a lift in the market. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I just, you know, didn't know it would be based on after the election. So it is what it is. Below in the market called a bunch of options trades. They all worked. So I called them out far enough people could be holding them. If you can withstand it, if you can't hold them, you take out with profits or you're already out. You can never be upset with yourself if you book money. Not every trade goes to the dream target. These trades are going to be big, though. They absolutely are. So for the people that are in them, good job. And for the people that um, did the day trades that I called today, great job. Because I sent out a couple emails about holding the market into the close, and it absolutely <laughs> rallied right into the close. In fact, we rallied up until the last second. 356 was 281.05. So good job, everyone. We'll see what we get Thursday and Friday, and uh, we'll see what the rest of the month and the rest of the year brings with the market. And if you're interested in more information on the Golden Gap course, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com.